It's crunch time here on The Jump. Sources telling our Ramona Shelburne that two-time WNBA MVP Candace Parker has committed to play for her hometown Chicago Sky after 13 seasons with the Los Angeles Sparks. Paul, did you expect to see Parker retire with the Sparks? She's making a move here. Well, she's going home, and unlike myself, when I came home, she has a lot more in the tank. So she actually gets to give her home fans, you know, something to cheer about. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, obviously you thought she would retire Spark. You know, there were some button heads with the head coach and some management, and unfortunately this is the business. So, you know, I, I, it's interesting to see who she's going to end up retiring with. Does she sign a one-year or one-day situation right. to retire with the Sparks? Does she just finish in her hometown? Yeah, well, no, she, she's, according to Ramona, not going to be playing with them this season. Chelsea Gray, as we just heard, also moving on. It'll be very interesting here in Los Angeles. All right, All-Star voting in the NBA opens today. Matt, who is the first-time All-Star you most want to see get named to the team? A guy who hasn't made it before. I wanted to see C.J. McCollum, but he's hurt, so I'm going to go with my Bruin brother, Zach Levine. Mm. Ooh, you know what? I try not to be on biased in all these things, but how can I not be? <laughs> Jalen Brown for Absolutely. the Celtics. He's been mag magnificent on both ends of the court. Without Jason Tatum, he's having an all-star year. He needs to be in there. You fans, if you're watching, vote him in. If not coaches, you better know what you're doing. Jalen Brown should be an all-star. Agreed. Lots of interesting Agreed. choices this year, and they are talking about maybe staging an all-star game in Atlanta, but either way, they are going to have teams of all-stars, so voting is open up today. All the fans can go in there and start casting their ballots. All right, guys, it's time for our League Pass game of the night. Only four games on the night. Not too much to choose from, because remember, our producers can't pick any national games. So they went with Clippers Heat at 8 Eastern. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George still out due to COVID protocols. Jimmy Butler out for weeks due to the same reason. The good news is the Heat are listing Butler, Goran Dragic, and Tyler Hero, Hero all as questionable tonight. The bad news is the Heat are 6-11 and 11 on the year. Paul, they are another team like the Wizards who has been really hit by COVID-related absences. Do you think that they have dug too deep a hole for themselves? As great as the Miami Heat were in the playoffs last year, they will not make the playoffs this year, Rach. Whoa. And we saw a play, we saw a play earlier in the show where Jokic got the ball through yeah. a full court. That's not the Miami Heat team we saw last year. You know, full of grit, you know, full of grind, like like the Memphis Grizzlies, you know, that team was built on hard work and toughness, and I have not seen that this year. And that's why I don't think they'll make the playoffs. Mm. Well, that's, that's a tough call. I mean, this team goes as Jimmy Butler goes, so I don't think it's too late to get going, but it's just depending on Jimmy's health. And then when he's out there, he's performed. He's, he's underperformed this year for, uh, you know, a very of reasons. But this team is only as good as Jimmy Butler. And uh, right now, it, it, it's been a little rocky with him being in and out. Yeah, I'm interested to see if they do anything before the trade deadline. Obviously, they have great young talent. And, and I kind of expected them at the start of the season not to make a huge push, just the exhaustion that I think that whole team had. I mean, they had a different run up to the finals than the Lakers did. The Heat yeah. really had to physically battle every step of the way yeah. to get to those NBA finals. And then because of the injuries they had in the finals, the guys who did play had to physically give so much of themselves. And then these COVID related absences. Remember guys, there is a play in tournament this year. Last year, it's not like the Heat were a super high seed. They knocked off the Milwaukee Bucks who were no. above them in the bracket. Do you think, Matt, that if they do get in, they can knock off a team above them if they get hot toward the end? I mean, Paul would tell you, the playoffs are just about getting hot at the right time, and that's what Miami did. And I think with all due respect, they overachieved last year. You know, no one really saw them coming out of the East, but the way they played, their style, their grit and grind, and the way Jimmy was playing, had these guys playing above themselves. But, you know, anything is possible. Um, but it, it's looking ugly right now. <laughs> Paul, if they do get in, can you see them making some noise, taking down a higher seed? Uh, of course. I mean, that's all on Jimmy Butler. I mean, mm -hmm. he's played spectacular last year. If he can get back to that level, because when he's played this year, he hasn't been that guy. But if he can get back to that level, of course they can. We'll see. Well, he's questionable he's for tonight. He is the key, as you say, Matt, for that team. We'll have to see who they put on the floor. Thanks to Matt and Paul for joining me. Coach Pat Brooks as well. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.